Once upon a time, there would have been over a thousand gondolas. It was the mode of transport, apart from walking. They're very skillfully made. They're made with several types of wood, soft fruit wood and hard wood. They're built asymmetrical with a flat bottom, specifically to maneuver around the Lagoon of Venice. There's usually a waiting list uh, to make the gondola. And as you see, they're all painted black. And this was part of the sumptuary laws, which meant that the gondoliers couldn't dress them up and overload it with ornamentation, each one trying to outdo the other. Initially, they would have had a cabin over the middle part with little lace curtains. Tourists, actually, and visitors couldn't see very well, so they removed the cabin, and so that gave them an all-round view of the canals and Venice. The experience of the gondola was magnificent in so many ways, but what really struck me from the very first moment was getting down into the gondola. From the outside, you look and you think, is this going to be okay? But the unbelievable balance on the gondolier, it was just very stable, so there was no trepidation. But then once you're in the gondola, you're just gliding along through the water. That itself is, is wonderful, and then you're looking around and the different styles of architecture. The, the waters and light reflection along with the different colors, the facade of buildings, that's amazing. What I like the most is sailing through the bridge. I just videotaped the whole thing from the sky, the building all the way on the bottom of the bridge and then bridge after bridge. That was an amazing experience for me. To be a gondolier, first of all, you need to be Venetian. This is something that's been passed down from father to son. Eventually they take an exam and it's 400 hours of skills of learning, not just manoeuvring the gondola, but also the history of Venice, but also some of the language skills and life-saving skills too. So that's about six months it takes to become a gondolier.